Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. All right, welcome, y'all. I'm so excited to have you here today because I have two incredible guests. Last week on the podcast, I gave you a really kind of broad introduction to what a holistic approach to vet care is, to pet care. And two of the modalities that I talked about, flower essences and animal communication, uh, I actually was, we're all lucky enough to have um, Angie Driscoll and Brandy Culver here with us today. So they're both going to tell us a little bit about what it is they do and how that translates into helping your animals. And then of course, I will make sure that you have links to be able to connect with each of them um, for you and your pets because they help both people and pets, which is really, really incredible. So let's get started. If you don't remember last week, we were talking about a holistic approach to healthcare for our pets. And that in a nutshell means that we treat the whole pet body, mind, spirit, right? So let me first introduce Angie Driscoll. Angie, thank you so much for being here. Um, Will you tell us a little bit about what it is you do and how, how that translates to helping our pets? Sure. Thanks so much, Jessica. I appreciate you having me here today. My name is Angie Driscoll and I am a holistic health practitioner and I help people find the root causes of their unexplained symptoms. And sometimes those root causes are physical and sometimes they are emotional. So I work with people to help them find the best foods that align with their body, the best exercise, um, Sometimes it involves sleep practices and sleep hygiene. Sometimes it's stress management techniques, uh, but it is a holistic approach to help people find what works best for them. And many times the root causes of physical symptoms are actually emotional issues. So one of my favorite modalities to use to assist with those emotional issues is Bach flowers. And I have been using them for many years for myself. And now I use them with my clients, but they are energetic remedies that work vibrationally on an emotional level in the body. And uh, they're just amazing to help clear out those emotions that get stuck in the body and cause physical issues. Now, how does this translate into animals and pets? Well, animals are no different than we are as far as needing a holistic approach. As you already mentioned, the food that they eat affects them highly. Their stress affects them highly, how much exercise they are getting. In addition, to their emotional balance and the things that they are dealing with and navigating. And Bach flowers happen to be incredibly safe for animals and humans alike. Uh, So they are an excellent modality to use uh, for our furry friends. And again, I'm just, I'm happy to be here. So thank you for having me. Well, thank you. And yeah, for everybody listening, I actually just attended Um, Angie's webinar on an introduction to Bach flower essences. And I had a teeny little bit of knowledge before, and it wasn't a super long presentation. So definitely reach out. Well, it's adding the good things.com. Correct. So she, when you once a month or twice a month, you're doing the webinar, it can change. (laughs) Yeah. Right now I'm doing it twice a month. And it's inc- like really incredibly informative. And yeah, like I, I I was just amazed at how much I thought I knew, how much I didn't actually know about <laughs> flower essences in general. But um, I think Bach is probably the most famous or, you know, the most well-known brand um, of flower essences and certainly the only type I've ever tried in the past, which was rescue remedy, which you were talking about is probably the, the, 
number one way that people start, that people learn about flower essences? Yes, absolutely. And many people already use that for their pets uh, because it is such a popular, well-known product. So uh, that's kind of a gateway into other flower essences, uh, rescue remedy. So yeah, it's one that I recommend to anybody. Yeah, it's in, it's it is incredible. I've used it, so I can attest to that. <laughs> um, and Brandy, let's have you talk a little bit about what it is you do. Well, thank you, Jessica. I'm so glad to be here today. This is uh, a beautiful space. And uh, what I do is I'm an animal intuitive, or um, most people know as an animal communicator. And I intuitively connect with your animals and ask them questions that you cannot ask um, verbally to them. And I also connect to um, animals that have passed. So I can connect to your animal that is here now and that animals that have passed that you have had in your life. And then I also can send energy healing to your animal also. I do animal Reiki. And so that's a little bit about what I do. Yeah, that's incredible. And I was listening to you the other day because we were, um, I was honored to be able to join the two of you in a clubhouse room. And for those of you that don't know, clubhouse is a, a social media, it's all audio. And you were talking about the different, how do I want to say it? The, the different ways that intuitives are able to connect with other beings. Um, and I think you said you're audio, correct? Clear audience, Clair Clair okay. audience. Yeah. <laughs> which is where I can hear messages. And then there's, um, clear cognizant where you can see the messages. You can see pictures in your, in your mind. And so most animals, that's how they communicate is through either pictures or through words. That's awesome. And I know I've, it's been a while, but I've spoken to you in the past about some of my pets. And um, I also, back in October on the podcast, had uh, Miss Layla Morgan Wild, who is, I don't know exactly how she communicates, if it's through visual or audio means, but she can connect with our pets as well. So that was um, a really, really incredible podcast to go back and check out now that we are talking about holistic modalities and holistic healthcare with our pets. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if, if obviously not everyone knows everyone, but I don't know if you know of Layla Brandy, but um, yeah. So these are two of the modalities that I brought up in last week's podcast, because when we're talking about a holistic healthcare approach with our pets, we are talking about treating the whole animal. So more often than not, when there's something physically going on with the body, like Angie was talking about earlier, when there are physical ailments, it's because there's something out of whack. There's something out of balance in the body. And oftentimes, even though we, we can address physical things going on in the body, like the, the gut is out of balance, right? That's something that is very often <laughs> seen in both people and pets today because of our highly processed diets. But we can treat that physically, but how much further we can progress, how much quicker we can progress in healing if we choose to also treat the mind and the spirit and emotions and everything together. So that's why um, we're treating, tr having a holistic approach to healthcare or even an integrative approach. I, I, I'm absolutely here for all of it, right? So I don't negate Western medicine or allopathic medicine because there is a time and place for all of it. And having a medical team for our pets that includes people like Angie and people like Brandy who can bring different perspectives uh, to what's going on with our pets. I just, I don't think we can lose. So we, uh, the three of us, myself, Angie and Brandy are going to be doing a live call at the end of March, 2022. So if you're listening to this 
late, sorry, <laughs> but um, we have plenty of people that listen to the podcast as it comes out. So you're going to have plenty of time to register. So Angie, Brandy, do either of you want to um, tell our listeners a, a little bit about this event that we're going to be doing? Yeah, Brandy, you go ahead. Well, on um, March 26th, we are going to do, um, it's about 12 people that we are going to speak with. Um, you are going to be asking us uh, each a question and we will have time to answer each one of those questions. And uh, I'm so excited. So excited. That's so we're calling it Tools to Navigate Energy with Your Pets. Correct. Correct. And I'm so glad you mentioned that it is 12 people because this is a very, very limited engagement. So as you are listening to this, we have probably, hopefully we haven't already maxed out. So go to the petparentingreset.com. I will have a, a an image at the very top of the page that you can click on to see if there are any spots left because this is a very limited event and you want to get in because uh, I don't know if or when we're going to be doing this again. Not because it's it's not valuable, it's incredibly valuable, but our time is very, very limited. So Brandy is, um, she's the one that this was this was her, her brainchild. <laughs> she put this together. She saw all of us coming together and I'm so grateful that she did and that she's including me. Um, uh, I'm very honored to be included. And yeah, so very limited event. If I, we'll see because the demand may, may push us to, to continue to do this, but guys, this is a very, 12 seats is it. So as you were listening to this, type in your search engine, thepetparentingreset.com and click on that image at the top of the page that says uh, tools to navigate energy with your pets. You will be able to ask three questions, one for each of us, and we will answer them live for you. So yeah, it's, it's, I will throw in this disclaimer. This is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any medical illnesses <laughs> or diseases in your pets, but we are here to help support you. I, I just would encourage you uh, to attend if you have uh, an animal, especially if you have an animal that has some interesting uh, issues, whether they are physical or emotional, whether it's separation anxiety, or you know that they are um, upset about something and you can't exactly put your finger on it. Um, the, we, we have some, some interesting perspectives to offer here and we're all very intuitive people. And uh, we may not, Jessica and I may not read the animals exactly like Brandy uh, does, but we still are very intuitive and can pick up on things and um, just have our, have our own abilities. So I encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of it. And while everything that I have done up until now has been uh, with people, it's, it's really interesting to um, transition into the animal world a little bit. I have a golden doodle named Otis, who is my soulmate in a furry meat suit. And uh, he's, he's very special. And I love him dearly, just like you guys love your animals dearly as well. I know we all think that our pets are the best. But um, I've had some, uh, I had a really interesting conversation with Brandy about Otis and she she let me know some some really cool stuff about him and uh, so I I just I think this is such a great opportunity. It is and yes everybody thinks they have the best pet and none of us are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so incredibly limited engagement and. I, I highly encourage everyone listening to follow Angie and Brandy on Instagram. Angie is at adding the good things and Brandy, you have a, a couple. What's, which one do, would you prefer people to follow you at Shiloh's divine rainbow or? Yes. yes. Okay. So at Shiloh's divine rainbow and Brandy, if you, when you go to her Instagram, um, I, I know Angie and I both have link trees in our profiles as well. Uh, we have 
both given Brandy links to share with everyone. Um, uh, for me, it is a free course, mini course on identifying and avoiding and even a little bit on how to treat separation anxiety with your pets. And Angie has her free Bach Flower Essences um, introductory webinar. Those are both linked in Brandy's link tree as well on um, at Shiloh's Divine Rainbow and Angie is at adding the good things. So I highly encourage you to follow um, all of us because I know they, they, I think they both post more than I do. I'm trying. I'm trying. Social media is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. Um, so I have a little um, curveball question for the two of you that I just thought, are there other holistic modalities that the two of you um, really like and encourage people to seek out that isn't your wheelhouse necessarily. So Angie, you're primarily working with, well, you do a lot, but <laughs> from my understanding, you pro primarily focus on the flower essences and Brandy, of course, you're um, an animal intuitive. Are there other holistic modalities or even just one that you highly encourage other people to seek out for themselves and their pets? Well, uh, in addition to being a certified flower essence specialist, I am a certified aromatherapy specialist as well. And this is an area that I encourage people to exercise more caution than they do um, normally because animals are especially sensitive to essential oils. And I know that essential oils are so widely used now and um, they're readily available and a lot of the information that is out there um, is not as safe as I would like for it to be. And that's concerning uh, human use and animal use. So I would say um, I love essential oils and I think they have a very um, good place in holistic hair, but with animals specifically, exercise caution, extreme caution, because we can do more harm than good. Yeah, I am in love with essential oils. And um, I, I have a couple of videos up on YouTube, and I'm, I'm slowly moving content over to Rumble as well. I highly encourage people to watch on Rumble. And um, I've, I have a couple where I talk about essential oils, because I read the animal desk reference on essential oils cover to cover. I loved it. It is not for everybody. It is a difficult read. <laughs> um, but yeah, quality of essential oils is key. Like it is paramount above any and everything else. There are certainly some essential oils like tea tree that we never want to use around our pets. But um, with a lot of other essential oils, they can have really incredible benefits, but we have to be very confident in the quality of that essential oil, both in how it is distilled from the plant and also in, I mean, just there are a lot, it's very highly unregulated. So there are, there are things that aren't essential oils that are labeled as essential oils. <laughs> um, so fragrance, for instance, is not an essential oil, right? So that's, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of nuance there, but I highly recommend anybody interested in essential oils for their pets, um, grab a copy of the Animal Desk Reference. It's written by Dr. Melissa Shelton. And yeah, so I've talked about that in the past as well. It's one of my favorites too. What about you, Brandy? Well, as I introduce myself, another modality is animal Reiki, which is energy healing. And I do energy healing with, with um, pet parents <laughs> and also the pets. And what happens is we can, we can do the work for ourselves and, and we can release that. But animals, they, well, they're highly sensitive and they can do their own work. But sometimes um, as, as, I've explained in, in some of my sessions that I do, the animal takes on some of our emotions and what we have gone through. 
And so that energy needs to be released. It cannot be stored in the body. So they need help with releasing that. And so Reiki helps with that. It also helps with just, you know, the aches and pains, the, the um, separation anxiety. It'll help with, with a lot of those things. Um, it won't cure it, but it helps it. It eases it. So, yeah, I highly recommend energy healing for your animal. Yeah, it's not the same. Um, but one thing I like to do, especially with my cats, is I will just pull up a YouTube video of a chakra meditation and I'll sit down with my cats and we'll listen to it. And not that it's the same thing. <laughs> I know that's different. <laughs> but um, it might be a, a gateway for people to see how adjusting the energy changes the emotions and behaviors of our pets around us. So it, it, it's, for me, very interesting to see the changes in them when the energy around us is intentionally shifted. If that makes sense? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. Yeah. So awesome. Well, again, guys, go to the petparentingreset.com. At the very top of the page, I will have an image that says tools to navigate energy with your pets. If you happen to be listening to this after March 26, 2022, sorry about your luck, but no. <laughs> seriously, um, you can still sign up to uh, be part of the family, whether that is on Patreon with me or um, just getting on my free email newsletter. I send out once a week um, a newsletter. And if we do this again in the future, I will definitely let everybody know. But prior to that, click on the image that says tools to navigate energy with your pets and see if there are any spots remaining because with only 12 spots, they're going to go quick. So thank you again, Brandy and Angie, for being here with us today and sharing a little bit um, with all of the listeners about what you do and how it can help our pets in a holistic approach to healthcare. So is there anything else either of you want to say? Do you want to just plug where everybody can find you? I know we talked a little bit, but you want to give everybody another little plug about where they can find you? Sure, I'll go. Um, again, you can find me. My name is Angie Driscoll. My business is Adding the Good Things. You can find me on my website at addingthegoodthings.com or on Instagram at Adding the Good Things. And I do offer one-on-one uh, -on -one health consultations, one-on-one -on -one health coaching. Uh, I have Bach flower um, sessions that are specific for emotions and Bach flowers. And I also am doing the intro to Bach flower webinars on a regular basis. So yeah, I would love to connect with you. And thank you so much for having me, Jessica. Thank you. And yeah, I, <laughs> thank you, Jessica. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Shiloh's Divine Rainbow. I do not have a website, but I do have a booking page on there. So you can either click on the link tree and book a session with me there, or I have a book now button also on that page. And I do do animal Reiki sessions and animal intuitive sessions. So check me out. Wonderful. Yeah, definitely. I highly recommend um, everybody listening to go at least start following these two ladies so you can get a sense of their energy and how they can help you. Because once you start following them, you're definitely going to want to, to learn more from them and seek out their services. So everybody, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. I have another incredible interview um, that is also a, another holistic modality for y'all next week. So if you're not following the podcast, make sure you're following and join the family over on Patreon. All right. With that, y'all give your pets some extra love from me and from Angie and Brandy this week. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.